Hello everyone, today I have some of my new makeup purchases I've made recently. I've gotten some use out of these products so I can talk about my thoughts through each of them. So let's just get right into it. First up, I got the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer in the shade 210N. I've been wanting to try this for a while and was curious about it since it's relatively not the most talked about product of the brand. I first love the packaging and the practicality of it, and it has an interesting triangular applicator that's good at spreading the product on the skin even from the initial application. Shade-wise, I usually go for a warm undertone, but even this shade shifted a bit yellow-orange on me, and it's described as a neutral beige shade. It's not a huge deal, but this was something I experienced personally, so something to note when choosing shades. The formula is creamy and blendable with medium coverage and a natural finish. It's hydrating enough for my under eyes, and I don't feel the need to set it with powder since it almost sets pretty well on its own. Overall, the concealer wasn't anything mind-blowing or life-changing, but a good average concealer that does check off the necessary boxes and I do enjoy using it. Next is another Rare Beauty product that is relatively new, the Brow Harmony Flexible Lifting and Laminating Eyebrow Gel. It's a completely clear brow gel that's not sticky or gooey. I like how it doesn't turn ashy or white as the day goes on or when you brush it out, and it also doesn't leave your brows feeling crunchy. I had high expectations for this brow gel from its claims of lifting and laminating the brow hairs, but it didn't quite reach it all the way. It definitely has a better holding power than a lot of the brow gels, but for my stubborn brow hairs, it didn't quite cut it, which isn't completely on the product itself. For how lightweight and easy to work with it is, it has a pretty good hold that will work for a lot of people. Next is a Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Cream Blush Stick in the shade Eczema. This is a cream blush that's super user friendly. It blends on the skin really well with just my fingers, leaves a slight glowy finish that looks super natural. It makes for a perfect everyday blush. The longevity isn't the best but it's also not the worst considering the fact that it's more of a radiant cream formula. There's also a wide variety of color choices for this product that will work for a lot of skin tones. Eczema is described as a rose beige, which is a perfect description. It's such a unique and an almost nude rosy shade on my skin tone. It looks cozy and warm, perfect for the winter time. It's such an easy blush product to reach for on a daily basis, and I'm sure everyone could find at least one shade that would fit their preference from the range. Next, I have a holiday limited edition duo from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called the Charlotte Superstar Glow Kit that includes two of the most popular Charlotte Tilbury's products and minis, the Beauty Light Wands in the shades Pinkasm and Spotlight. I've always wanted to try these two products out because of all the hype, but just never got to justifying spending over $40 on each of them. But this kit for both was in the $30 range, which is less than the price of one, and I rarely go through any makeup products, so the mini seemed perfect. The formula of these products are so easy to blend and gives a most gorgeous champagne glow. The texture is thin, which makes it really natural. They have very, very fine shimmers for the pearlescent glow that's not too chunky or visible. The pinkasm shade gives a nice rosy pop in the cheeks, and the spotlight shade makes for a perfect spot highlight. Both shades could be sheared out or built up for any occasions. Currently when I'm editing this video, this set isn't available on the Sephora's website anymore, but it's still up on the Charlotte Tilbury's website. I think this could be a good value deal for those like me who's been wanting to try these viral products out. Then I have the Mini Kosas Cloud set in the shade Breezy, the lightest shade of the four mini shades available. I was excited to try this because of its amazing reviews from so many people. This powder is known for its skin blurring quality and how well it sets without taking away all the glow. I do partly agree with this because I can feel how soft and fine it is and it sets really well without it looking completely mattified or heavy. But I didn't see the full result of its skin blurring effects and it's not worth all the hype in my opinion. But I'm also not a huge powder person and use a little amount of my skin so it's something completely personal. One thing inside from the formula itself is how easily it breaks. After filming this footage, it broke really easily from how soft and fragile it is, which was really disappointing. But I do see the potential in this kind of a baked powder, so I'm still willing to test out the best way for it to work on my skin. Moving on to lip products, first is a glossy hotcocoabomb.com that is limited edition. It's the original bomb.com formula from before they reformulated it in their new packaging with a slanted applicator. The wide applicator actually makes it super convenient to apply, which I enjoyed. The lip balm is tinted and scented, which I really love. It smells like straight up sweet hot chocolate, which I thought was really cool. The finish is just slightly glowy, and it's not like a lot of the popular tube lip products that are thick and glowy. It's more like a traditional lip balm that is more thin with natural glow. The tint looks like a brownish reddish tint on the lips and could be built up. 
When I blot it off, it looks more like a purple-ish brown than a true espresso brown, but on the lips, it looks more like brown. It gives the most cozy, warm winter experience, especially as a fan of the Glossier Balm.com. Lastly, I have the Refi Lip Gloss in the shade Taupe. First, I love this very slick and minimal packaging, and the metal applicator feels really nice as well. The formula is really comfortable and hydrating, and it feels super smooth and plush on the lips. The shade Taupe is described as a light cool brown, but it looks more like a pinky nude to me, and it's actually pretty close to my lip colors, and since the tint is pretty sheer, it looks very natural. I highly recommend this product, tinted or non-tinted, because of how good and glassy it looks and feels on the lips. And that was everything I had today to show you in this video. I enjoyed getting to try out all of these products I've been wanting to try out, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on my next one.